Jay Cooley with Stooley. I'm back at the Comic Fox, and I'm going to tell you how the Star Wars sequel trilogy should have been. First, we start out with the TV show, The Leia Adventures with Han Solo. This is basically just going to show us how far Leia's come as a Jedi, as far as, far as her training and stuff like that. And she's going to go on an adventure with Han to destroy the Hutt family. Then we'll get another TV show, Wrath of the Empire. As we see Thrawn as he's built the strongest army as the galaxy's ever seen. An army made of the Yuzhan Vong. And they take over plenty of planets and the Yuzhan Vong eventually kill Thrawn. Then we get another TV show, Rise of the Skywalker, Mara Jade. We get Mara Jade's origins of how she used to work for the Emperor. But... The Yuzhan Vong started taking over Mara Jade's planet until Luke comes and they must team up to kill the Vong. And then we get Palpatine the movie with a Sith Darth Umaya brainwashing the rest of the Vong into serving her. And with the technology from Thrawn from the Unknown Region, they bring back Palpatine through the life of his son. Then we get Star Wars Episode 7 A New Dawn as we get the debut of Jason Solo. Ben Skywalker, played by Tom Holland, and Jaina Solo, played by the actor of Ray Sidious. They all make their debut in this movie, and in Killing Palpatine, Jason Solo becomes Darth Cadus. Then we get Rise of the Skywalker, Ben Skywalker, a TV show, as Ben Skywalker meets Grogu on an old Sith planet, but they both must fight off the lost Sith tribe, led by the ancient Sith Lord, Darth Vitiate. Of the original Sith species, of course. Then we pick up with the Solo movie as we see Anakin Solo, the third child of Leia and Han, has ran off away driving the Millennium Falcon, where he has to fight off a planet of rogue stormtroopers as a child. Then we pick up with Episode 8, The Order of the Dark Side, as Darth Cadus has overpowered Ben Skywalker in a 1v1. And he kills, quote-unquote, Leia and Luke. They literally just let him kill them, to be honest. Then we get the TV show Legacy of the Force as Mara Jade trains Jaina Solo to fight her brother Darth Cadus. As Groku trains with Yoda, Ben trains with Obi-Wan Kenobi, and Anakin even talks to Anakin Solo. As they're all doing this through their forced ghost, obviously. Then we get episode 9, The Final Hope, as Jaina Solo kills her brother. Lumaya reaches the Mask of Nihilus, which holds the spirit of Darth Nihilus, which takes over her, and she consumes the Mortis Planet. Which, if you know Star Wars, you know the Mortis Planet. Which makes her extremely strong, but with the combined power of Grogu, Jaina Solo, Ben Skywalker, and even Anakin Solo, they were able to defeat Darth Nihilus. And that's it. That's how I would have done the sequel trilogy, man. Tell me how y'all think of it. Tell me if I should like do each one for just like one video. Just explain one of them for a video if y'all would like that or not. But don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below what y'all thought of this video. And I am out. Thank you for watching and listening. Peace.